Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This past week, we got to see Kale and Laurie open up about finding out that she was pregnant with her fourth son, Creed. In the episode, she talks about how she considered an abortion even so much that she made the appointment and went to the appointment. She said when she got there, she asked to see the baby on the ultrasound. And that's what ultimately led to her decision to keep baby Creed. She said she needed to see if she would connect with this baby. And when she did, she told them that she could not go through an abortion and she went home. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but in a book that Kale wrote, she talks about the fact that she had an abortion when she was 15. At the age of 15 years old, she got pregnant by a boyfriend at the time that in her book she calls Toby. Now that's probably not his real name. She had already lost her virginity, but he was a boyfriend and he had persisted that they, you know, do the do. And she refused for a while, but then ended up giving in at the request that he wear protection. He ended up not doing that and she ended up pregnant. At 15 years old, her mom told her that there would be no way she could have a baby. It would not be accepted. So her mom, pretty much from what I get in the book, forced her to have an abortion. Kale says that when she went to the clinic and had the abortion at 15, they did not only like suck her uterus out, but she said they pretty much sucked her soul and every fiber of her being out. She said that she knew that abortion was not for her and she felt a mother's grief. So I can't even imagine how hard that decision must have been being even older, the mother of three, three boys, and then having to go through that again, having that thought that you may need to abort your baby. She had that thought. She went to the appointment and she made the decision to keep Creed. On Tuesday night's episode of Team Mom 2, Kel shared her disbelief of being pregnant, saying that she hadn't told Isaac, Lincoln, or Lux that they were going to be big brothers. After talking about her decision to not go through with an abortion on camera, she broke down saying that it had been kind of like a weird time. She said she truly couldn't picture it and she had never felt this way about a pregnancy. She said that when she got pregnant with Lux, she never even thought twice about keeping him. She said, now moving forward, this is the decision that I've made to keep this baby and I just need to put on my big girl pants and figure it out. Obviously, it was a tough time for Kale because she had just had... Um, Creed's older brother, Lux, not too long before that. I mean, he wasn't very old and Chris has been very touch and go. She moved to be closer to him and has later admitted that that was a bad decision because he really doesn't help. They've had quite a rocky relationship and from her speaking on it, he does not help nearly as much as he should. So for her to get pregnant again, I'm sure that was difficult for her to accept that she was going to be once again, mom and dad to another child. Kale also did say that when she told Javi and Joe about her pregnancies, they were both very supportive. She said, I actually felt worse and more guilty now with this pregnancy and questioning if I'm doing the right thing. More so with this one at 27 than I did with Isaac at 17. Kale said that once she told Joe and Javi, it was a huge weight lifted off her shoulders. Kel stated, I think the pain of this pregnancy just comes from everything that happened around my pregnancy and the thought of maybe not keeping the baby. People are not going to understand and I have to be okay with that because these are decisions that were up to me. I have to be okay with the backlash and the misunderstandings, which is the internet undoubtedly she will get. There are people that don't agree with abortions. There are people that do agree with abortions. So no, no matter what, she's going to get backlash. Kel said that she was very thankful for the support that she did get from Joe and Javi and even Joe's wife, V, who Kel is friends with. They just started a podcast. She welcomed Creed on July 30th. She is now the mom of four. And she did say that she had a really, really hard time with her pregnancy and even just trying to keep it a secret was very hard for her. She said she struggled with that and she said that she was nervous for people to see that she considered an abortion. She said, I'm just nervous that people are going to be like, why would you ever admit that on TV for anyone to see? She went on to say, not everything is black and white. Not everything is cut and dry. So I hope that people understand the thought process and the pain that I was going through. Kale said, despite having a difficult pregnancy and having such a tough time with finding out that she was pregnant again, she said that she is happy that he is here and she loves him so much. Uh, she did talk a little bit about her relationship with Lopez. And she said that at the time, the two don't have any communication. She wanted to say, I just want to focus on trying to be a parent to four kids by myself because clearly... I don't have his help in that. Team Mom 2 airs on um, MTV on Tuesday nights at 8 
p.m. Eastern time. You guys, if you don't watch it, watch it. I've been watching it for 10 years. If you do watch it, you guys know why I like it. What do you guys think? How do you guys feel about Kale opening up on TV that she considered an abortion? Now, I think people need to hear stories, but I also do worry about Creed seeing that one day. Is that going to make him feel any less important. I don't want that to hurt him in any type of way, but I do think it's important for people to hear these types of stories to say, I contemplated it. And when I got there, I seen that it wasn't for me um, because I'm sure plenty of other women have went through that before. How do you guys feel? Leave it in the comment section below. Do you guys agree that she should have talked about it on the show? Or do you guys think she should have kept that one to herself? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.